In the Bahamas, health officials continue to heighten awareness about this chronic disease. Diabetes impacts 10% of the population, and over the past 5 to 10 years, medical teams have seen an increase in type 2 diabetes among obese children. Deputy Chief Medical Officer Dr. Daylon Brennan says this remains a concern. However, partners in the public and private sector have been running year-round programs which focus on preventing diabetes. What we've mainly been doing is actually moving our diabetes management to the polyclinics. Well, not just the polyclinics, but actually our clinics in general. They have, we've provided education and we now have diabetes educators um, so that our nurses, our physicians are actually able to provide management and self-management advice to patients with diabetes in their respective clinics. So they don't have to go to a special clinic per se. You can actually get that advice and the treatment that you require in the clinic where you usually attend anyway. Brennan says it's much easier now for diabetics who attend government clinics to receive assistance, not just medical care, but management and education. The third Caribbean microfinance forum is being held here in the capital. The Inter-American Development Bank is hosting the forum, which seeks to relay international best practices that will benefit micro enterprises in the Bahamas and the Caribbean. Chief of Access to the Finance Unit with IDB Thomas Miller explains how small scale financial institutions can assist entrepreneurs. For example, we're talking about short term productive loans. We're talking about also loans for micro entrepreneurs that would like to improve their housing, uh, mortgage loans to a certain extent, but above all is productive short-term loans. Uh, and not only loans, we're talking about savings mobilization, possibilities of other financial services like microinsurance. Miller notes the state of the economy necessitates this kind of assistance. Microfinance is, 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 is an important service primarily because it reaches out to self-employed people, those are persons that do not rely on a salary, so they are producing their own products and selling them. To the extent that they have more access to finance, they can grow their business, that means they can employ other people, so there's an employment generation and a welfare improvement of their business and uh, of the people uh, that are employed by them. One of our local religious leaders is ascending to high office in an international organization. Prophet Lawrence Roll, better known as the Singing Bishop, has been selected to serve as superintendent for the Bahamas in the International Chaplains Association. The organization is made up of some 3,000 preachers in the United States, where some 100 churches around the world are members. Clint Watson has his story. A major ascension to international office for the singing bishop and prophet Lawrence Roll as he takes on his new title of superintendent of the Bahamas in the International Chaplains Association. The organization's president, Bishop Enrique Hernandez, was in town to confer the honor on Bishop Roll. He presented the singing bishop with his letters of credentials, badge and pin, which will grant him official access to nations. We're calling now to the church, to the leader, to be together. You know, because we're working for the kingdom, we're working for the only one God in the world, the Jesus, Jesus Christ. He'll also be responsible for recruiting more leaders for global missions and united efforts. For Bishop Roll, a man who's always talked about his humble beginnings in Cat Island, limited education and early life of poverty, it's more than an honor. He says he has spent a lot of time praying on the altar. And while he had an indication there would be more, the words of those around him actually mobilized him. A lot of people was trying to tell me, well, it's time now to move off the altar. But I say from what to what, I don't think God just called me to be a singer, even though a lot of people be rally up. I felt that I can offer more to the people by sharing the word of the Lord to the people and just being that, living a life so people can follow. Bishop Roll attributes his success to other clergymen that have mentored him like Bishop Neil Ellis, Chief Apostle Leon Wallace, and Bishop Ross Davis. We feel that this is awesome and we know you will do well with it, and we are praying for you. We must now jump beyond religious barriers and accept who God is using, and whichever channel this anointing is flowing, we must now go with the flow. Bishop Roll hopes that his new position will provide opportunities for tourism next year for the Bahamas. Clint Watson, ZNS News.
Welcome to tonight's edition of The Business Beat, sponsored by Royal Fidelity. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Altaviz Munnings. Let's take a look at what's making business news today. Day two of the Multilateral Investment Fund of the Inter-American Development Bank Group's Caribbean Microfinance Forum will focus on the business model for raising the bar, Caribbean and international experiences. Special focus on Tuesday will be made to challenges of growing small multilateral funds and can credit unions microfinance. The forum is being held at the Breezes Resort in Cable Beach. Declaring that the Bahamas leapt light years ahead with a single call, BTC's Chief Executive Officer Jeff Houston announced today that the first test 4G cell phone call and internet data session was placed at 11.12 this past Friday morning, paving the way for the long-awaited high-speed network to go live before Christmas. The historic test call and data session are key milestones in the two-year $45 million investment in BTC's 4G network that is currently underway. Organizers of the government's energy efficiency program recycling collected disposed CFL bulbs in order for it to be conducted in an environmentally safe manner so the public would not experience exposure to dormant mercury settling in landfills throughout the Bahamas. The government anticipates by the year 2030 to employ 30% of the national energy use to come from renewable energy and also 30% reduction in energy use, which also means cost savings for consumers. From the international business scene, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, says that every economy it monitors suffered a slowdown during September. The OECD's Leading Indicators Index for the month is designed to highlight turning points in economic activity. And from the regional business scene, Barbados's Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Christopher Sinclair, while addressing the Institute of Chartered Accountants' 18th annual conference in Bridgetown, said there is no formula in economics textbooks that can be applied to economic planning to pluck the world's economy from the grips of the worst recession in a century. Remember, you can send us an email or join us on www.znsbahamas.com or become our friend on ZNS's official Facebook page. And that will end tonight's edition of The Business Beat, sponsored by Royal Fidelity. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Alta Beast Money.